Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm with my lovely friends Ginge, Flora and, <laughs> and we are here to talk to you about how to survive pools. I'll start by saying I lived in number nine um, <laughs> and number nine is infamous for being yeah, the place yeah. to be, place. to party. So <laughs> my top tip, if you're just moving into halls Say that you will have your first pre-drinks on the first day in your room. Then, bam, you make loads of friends. Decide who you like, who you don't like. On the first day, you know where you stand. And you don't have to like host pre's ever again if you don't want to. Yeah, but you ended up holding them every week. I ended up holding them every week because it was fun. <laughs> but then, you know who you like, who you don't like, and who you're going to let back in again. That is true. Top tip. Yeah, true. That is a good tip. I would also say... You had a fridge in your room, didn't you? Big yeah. fridge. People have mini fridges, but you can literally hold like half a pint of milk in that. Get a big one. Get a fridge freezer. That's what I had. Yeah, that is a good tip. Yeah, because then you don't have to like share the kitchen or anything with mm -mm. anyone else. Yeah. And you can literally like reach across your bed and open the fridge and get your milk. <laughs> one more thing, a kettle. Have yes. a kettle. Yes. Massive thing. Get a kettle, some tea bags, milk in your new fridge freezer. Yeah. You don't have to move anywhere. Plus, kettles are good for pot noodles. Kettles are good for pot noodles, yeah. kettles are good tea. for yeah. tea, coffee, any hot beverage of your choosing. Mm -hmm. You can make with a kettle. Yeah. Um, I should be on an advert. <laughs> <laughs> what um, we should be sponsored by <laughs> PG Tips. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I think maybe like, because when I found out my halls, mm -hmm. I was really disappointed because I had to share toilets and showers. I, it was my last choice and I think one thing for me like I was going in there already hating it yeah and it just put me in a bad mindset so I think if you're not happy with what you've got just try and think positively about it mm -hmm. mm. because otherwise it's just going to be ruined before you go even there and at the end of yeah. the day halls is a massive part of your first year uni experience I personally think no matter how close you live you should be in halls we had a friend have a friend who's still our friend <laughs> we have a friend who literally lived 10 15 minutes up the road literally 15 minutes on the train and he still um decided to move into halls and it honestly changed his whole first year our whole first year because we made a best friend um and you're not curfewed by anyone at home you can go out until four in the morning you can stay up crying to someone until five in the morning and no absolutely nobody cares because yeah. you can go back to your mm -hmm. room and and at the end of the day like you've got a bed to sleep in for the night, so you've got to be grateful for that no matter what room you get. I mean, I can talk because I had my own shower, my own bathroom, yeah, yeah. and it was like a big room. That was just because I was lucky. Um, but it's a massive thing staying in halls because you can literally do whatever you want. It's like your own sense of freedom. And then by the yeah. time you move into second mm. year, you find the people that you want to live with, and then that's like a big adult decision. Yeah. But first year, you can do whatever you want. You can come in whatever times you want. Like people are running up and down screaming in the corridor at half past three and you that's it. You don't <laughs> question it. At first it's annoying, but then you get used yeah. to it. Mm, yeah, you do. Like the noise is definitely a problem. I feel like in every university or at every accommodation. But yeah, you do get used to it. Like I st I still hear the people upstairs from me and downstairs, even though I live in a flat now. Um yeah. Yeah. You just yeah. get used to it. You gotta realise that with the course can I say what course we do? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta realise the course that we do, we do acting, um at a drama school, so it's like full on, um, five days a week. We used to get up for classes, uh, be in class for eight o'clock or and then don't finish till six or five. It's so it's four mm. full on days, five days a week. Um, but not everyone else is like that. So if you're going to study psychology or English or to be a teacher, you're not gonna be in that many times a week. So you've also, as an acting student, got to accommodate for that that they're in for a three hour lecture. We had a friend like that as well. Yeah. We had a friend, she was in for a, a three hour lecture twice a week. So the rest of her time, what's she gonna do? She's just gonna make the most of her time being there because she's yeah. not at home. So you've got to accommodate for that as well. People are gonna yeah. like party and so it's just fun and you've just got to, that's your situation, that's theirs and you're only in it for a year and you've just got to make the most of it. Yeah. yeah. And I feel I'm like- good. <laughs> I am good. I am good, thank you. Thank you for being here. Clap for me as well. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, I can't even remember what I was going to say now. I was too noise. Okay. Um, think the car. And <laughs> oh, you had um, you had board games, didn't you? Yep. That board was, games. And like cards are always cards. really good. Oh yes. If you don't want cards. Yeah. If you don't want to go out, then you can just 
have like a board game night. Yeah. Um, but then if you do want to go out, you can pre-drink with like Ring of Fire. Yeah. yeah. That is a classic. Yeah. I got these cards from Greece. And I don't even know why I bought them. It was like on my gap year, and I bought these pack of cards from Greece. And it has all these different like weird sex positions on it. Um, it's just something that Greek people love. <laughs> but, so, and I don't, I don't know why I bought them. And I just thought, oh, they're fun. And I didn't even show my parents, <laughs> and it wasn't for my own satisfaction or anything like that. Um, it was just, I just bought them anyway. Best thing best decision i ever made so i come to uni and everyone was like oh we haven't even got a pair of cards and i was like wait a minute <laughs> you can be entertained with a game and you have a different sex position every time it's like the karma sutra in cards like honestly, yeah sex education. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone from sex education happens to be watching the cold chance video I'm, I'm available um, <laughs> so am i <laughs> we all are we all are um yeah, and board games were really fun. Yeah, they mm. were good. And even just like watching series, is, series, is? series, yeah, yeah. series yeah. together. Or... Yeah, because mm. there's gonna be days when you're hungover. So, and everyone's in this. Literally everybody at uni is in the same boat as you. So, if you're hungover and whatever, if you just get everyone round into your room and play board games, like drink tea. Like everyone used yeah. to come to my room for a cup of tea, yeah. and I think yeah, that's such. Time. Like, tea is such an inclusive thing and when you play games and stuff and it's just nice to sit down and relax and not feel like... Because when you are drinking, sometimes you feel like you have to um, reach certain expectations yeah. and people think, yeah, oh, you're not being fun or whatever. Mm. Yeah, that is a common thing. Like, like some people, anyway, go into uni and they pretend they're something they're not yeah. just because they're so... Got this whole thing, like, you have to make loads of friends, you have to do this, you have to do that. But if you're just you... Then you'll find your people, mm. but you don't have yeah, to pretend definitely. to be someone else. Cause Especially with tea. You'll end, <laughs> you'll end up with friends you don't want to be with, or yeah. doing things you don't yeah. really want to do. Mm -hmm. And since, like, us and Nicole Chan, for example, was in the same class for the... F actually, same with both of you. Was in the same class, yeah. but then, yeah. like, after hours... So you see people in class, and then you go back, and all of a sudden you're just back in your room and there's not always plans and you feel sometimes it can be really lonely because yeah. the room is just for you on your yeah, own you don't share true. with anyone most of the time um so i think that's really nice just uh it like you've done it loads of times you were always in my room if you text someone's like can i have a cup of tea yeah, yeah. yes just knock on the door do you know what i mean because yeah. we're all in literally all in the same boat yeah. and i think that's really important to think about even that's what me and jade did because she was literally down the hall from me mm. and even if it was at like 10 p.m. at night, I'd just be like, "Do you want a cup of tea before we go to bed?" Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. watch like a YouTube channel, a YouTube show, or Netflix. Yeah. I think it's just so yeah. important. It's just like chat is really important, yeah. and like mm. just don't be alone in your room. Have your space, but don't be alone in your room because yeah. yeah. it can. If you, you. Yeah, yeah, if you're if you're coming home at five o'clock, for example, and you just see those four walls, then that's yeah. really lonely. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Don't, I'm gonna go yeah, and get my tea. Don't be afraid to. Um, <laughs> Oh, you want me to get there. it for you? Oh, Nicole, you said that this is what I got up. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on. This, this is yours, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. amazing. Let me stretch Nicole, myself. Nicole, you fancy it? Yeah. You can put this in the bloopers <laughs> if you like. <laughs> amazing. See? True friendship. Yeah. We should be sponsored by, like, a tech By Yorkshire. No, not tech in the car. I'm sorry. Sorry. If you had said that to me last year, I'd not been your friend. No, we like Yorkshire oh, tea. Wow. I, yeah, I do like Yorkshire tea. Yeah, PG, Yorkshire. Yeah. And another thing to do with tea, I'm going to look like a tea enthusiast by the yeah. this. Get, bring loads of mugs. Yes. You need yeah, to accommodate. Mm. Got to be friendly. I mean, I feel like our um, experiences were a little bit different because you, you're always like, come to my room, come to my room. Yeah. Um, whereas I liked my space. I, yeah. Um, I don't know why, but I, I feel like because our course is so intensive, I yeah. thought, you know what, I do need time on my own, like, have a nap, and then go out and socialise, like, even yeah. if it's, like, spoons or yeah, or a cup of tea. Yeah, like, that is a good perspective to have on it, I think. Yeah, like, don't, yeah. don't be afraid to say no. Like, yeah. if you actually yeah. do want to stay in, yeah. then just stay in. Yeah, because you need that time to, like, reflect on your mm -hmm. day. And like re-energise. Yeah. Definitely. I think we all had different experiences. Because I was the mm. one that like, come round, come round. Um, you was the one that went to go out to someone's room. Yeah. E.g. mine. Yeah. And you wanted your own space, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's a good perspective to look on. That all the three of them are okay and we've all yeah. Yeah. survived it. Sips tea. Sips. <laughs>
Oh, and get air, air fresheners. Oh, like yeah. the spray. Because some places you can't have candles because of like the fire hazard or whatever. Yeah. So diffusers or little sprays are yeah, really good. Do. I also flooded my room. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. This one yeah. time. My How shower. did you cope with that? So I didn't really. My, <laughs> my, and being the with the room that was sort of like a living room for everyone, and my shower just flooded one time. I was in my shower, and I thought, God, it's filling up at the bottom. Anyways, I got out, and it went into my actual room, out the door, into the corridor, and I was like, bloody hell! I need to fix this. Yes, it's and it stunk it's like a rat's bum, and then. I was like, what am I going to do? I'm squelching around. All my fingers are <laughs> And it's wet. carpet. Carpet. Yeah. Um, and it stunk. Anyway, I spoke to these people, um, like the maintenance people, and put this massive Dalek thing. Dalek? Yeah, it just yeah, made a big Dalek. Dalek. Noise. It, it, was, it was in there for really ages, Nicole Chan. Really? Yeah, and it, like, seen. you must have seen it. It was massive. It was white. It was like this big white what was it? Like yes, you did see it, because I had Probably. it over... Because um, I came round the next day or something. Yeah, yeah I had it over on a an so occasion, there. didn't I? Have was it, it just suck out all the moisture? Yeah, yeah. and but it was literally. I thought it was gonna be wrinkly by the end of it. I thought my skin <laughs> was like, <laughs> was it so out. dry? It was horrible, wasn't yeah. it? And the air was like, oh, gross. Mm. It stank. Yeah. Get spray. Yeah, well, that's good because if you ever have a problem, you can always like email your maintenance people, like security. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I feel like you're the really helpful one, and I'm like, there was one time, but you need. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, what, that's what's needed, though. Yeah, you need like a mixture mm. of both. Yeah. But people are always want to help, and it's not just their job either. Mm. They, like their mums and dads themselves, so they don't want to see someone else's kid go for a horrible time. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is nice because your parents are sometimes miles away. That's yeah, another thing. Yeah. Homesickness. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh god. Yeah. I I don't know why, but I don't really contact my mum like via phone calls as often as I probably should. Mm. We have a family group chat where we oh, just nice. like post really random photos of like this is my meal today or. I've just gone on a nice walk. I think that's <laughs> nice though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Do you have family group chat? Um, we do. Well, my sister is 10, um, and she's just sort of getting into this whole world of technology. Social media. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> but, um, so we have a group chat of me, my mum and my dad. Um, but we never, we never ever use it. And it was something that I started because I wanted to use it. I wanted mm. to, like, post things in. But I always message them on the phone, because I'm quite a close family, so I always message them on the phone as much as I can. Mm. Um... But I remember the first two weeks I came to uni, the first day was absolutely fine because I was, it's all so much, isn't it? And like there was drinking mm. and whatever. And then after that, I remember just feeling so on my own and so like everyone was against me and nobody else was feeling the way I was. But in hindsight, it, everyone was feeling the way I yeah. was. Mm. And I shouldn't have, not that I shouldn't have felt like that because how you feel is how you feel. But I should have spoken about it, I think. Um, because I, I just kept everything in and tried to pretend, as does everyone else, that I'm absolutely fine. Yeah. But it was the first, I was 19 and it was the first time I'd ever even stayed for that amount of time on my own. Like, you go on holidays and things, but you're living on your own in this new environment. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's, it's important because everyone's families are so different. And, like, my family don't keep in contact as much as others. I'd, like, look at your family and be like, oh, her mum's ringing her every day, mm -hmm. or whatever. But it's just different, like, every yeah. family yeah. is different. And if your family don't, like, talk on social media, you'd rather see them face-to-face, -face or whatever, if you're not even that close, it doesn't matter, like, your family's not any worse or any better than each yeah. other's, it's just yeah. the way you're working. Did yeah. you get homesick, Nicole? Uh, there were days where I, yeah, I did. It was when, like, we don't have a half-term, or, like, our break isn't until, like, so yeah. far ahead that... I get stuck in work and I don't yeah. rest enough and then I'm thinking oh no I've got so much to do but then I don't have enough time and sometimes you just need that break and seeing your family like helps you helps relax loads. You yeah I thought that even now um being in second year and only like a couple of weeks in since Christmas mm. um I found because sometimes especially when I move into into my our own flat um I felt like I've got to stay here I've got to, like, I've got to live on my own type thing. I can't be relying on my parents, stuff like that. But yeah. like you said, seeing your family helps you relax. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's why I'm going at the weekend to see my family because 
I like to oh, just have that's that. So nice. Yeah, yeah. I think you've got. I think that's so true. Like mm. your family does help you relax because that's what you've known for the whole of your life. Yeah, that environment. Definitely. So yeah. that's your most comfortable, I think, as yeah. well as trying to find your own environment. Yeah, I feel like sometimes I'm in denial that I like don't need to see my family because yeah. sometimes when it's when it's not half term or Easter or whatever break it is, and you just have only the weekend. Sometimes I think, is it really any point going home? But then when you do go home for that weekend or see your family for like one day. It actually makes so much yeah. oh, the difference. The world of difference, yeah. I feel like that as well. Mm. I was in, I'm was i always in denial of saying, like, I only saw them two weeks ago, I don't yeah. need to go home. Yeah. But then when you go home, even for a day, you think, oh, that's why I yeah. miss it, do you yeah. know what I mean? It's so refreshing. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you realise that you live a completely different life to what you used to live, mm-hmm. and you've got so much to tell them, and they've got so yeah. much to tell you. I think that's really nice. Yeah. I think, like, another thing that made me realise about uni and stuff was friends from home aren't always like it's okay if friendships don't last it's not the end of the world like lives you're both of your lives are going on you're still young doesn't matter yeah and you'll meet other people i know it's a shame but you'll meet other people and yeah yeah it's probably important to think of your times of your life in chapters Mm. to think that in a book there's so many different characters and the first four characters in chapter one you'll lose some of them by chapter four. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, that sounds so cheesy. <laughs> I know, so anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Guys, seriously. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I'm actually a philosopher now. Um, <laughs> so, so, this, this video has changed you. <laughs> I don't know why I, want to, I think I'm Holly Willoughby trying to present something. <laughs> but here I am. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Just think of your life in sections. I need to stop. Yeah. <laughs> Shh, <laughs> I save you. Um, I think when I when I first moved to university, um, uh, I used to just whenever I went home, I just message people saying, "Hey, are you free to meet up and stuff?" And for like the first year, I'd meet up with so many people, yeah. and then second year, um, if they don't message you, like it's kind of awkward to always be that person to message this is them. what I was trying to say. Yeah. That was <laughs> like a chat. No. Yeah. <laughs> but like, that's, that's your way of putting it. Thank you, Nicole which Chan. Did make, which Supportive. did make sense. Be like Nicole Chan. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like it is so much energy to always try and be that first person to um, message your friends or people you know. Um, and sometimes you just got to let that shit go. I said it Yes! <laughs> Let um, that shit go. I wasn't quite sure if I could swear. You can't if you Oh, want. amazing. I won't go mad, but it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like the people who need to stay in your life and, will. like, d- yeah, deserve to stay in your life, then yeah. will. Yeah. People yeah. who don't, won't. Yeah. And mm. they will miss you when you're doing well. And they're not. Even if <laughs> you're doing well, support them. From innocence. Yeah. But... <coughs> I need to shut up. I'm just trying to be so deep. And just do quiet to songs. Kill them with kindness. <laughs> Jaya <Jolly> Les. <laughs> Everybody in love, put your hands up. Your turn. Oh, um, <laughs> you got a friend in me. Do, 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 do. You got a friend in me. Do, 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 do. Anything else? Anything else we should say about balls? Oh, okay, top tips. I feel like this is my area. Because mm, I love This is you. I love yeah. halls. Take the space. I think I know. I absolutely loved halls. Mm. That's all I can say. And I wasn't even in the midst of partying all the time or whatever. It wasn't anything like I expected it to be. I thought I'd love it, but in a different way to what I do. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of it. Oh, oh, pictures. Oh, yeah. yes. Take pictures of your family, friends, take pictures of your new f- friends, and just put them up. Yeah, it's just so yeah, nice everywhere. to just remind yourself of who's surrounding you. Mm-hmm. I think that's cool. The fridge is definitely my top tip. Yeah, fridge. The fridge and kettle. Yeah, and 100%. like tea. And cutlery. Bring, cutlery, bring 100%. Bring cutlery. Um, and your own plates and things. In our uni, we got food we were like catered for, but mm. take your own plates and things because there's going to be plenty of times where you yeah. just want your own s- stuff. Yeah. yeah, and I think you have a, um, a backup stock. Like yeah, when you like do run out of money, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you have that to go to. Yes, yeah, snacks is important. But also, 
nutrition is so important because <laughs> some people literally just live off crisps and I'm like you don't get really enough nice. vitamin you don't get enough like vitamins and then you'll get ill and you don't want to be ill when you're doing yeah. like 30 hours a week in classes and yeah things. I agree so you need to take care of yourself get 100%. some barocca down you yeah have <laughs> have have vegetables yeah and yeah. fruit yeah yeah lots of fruit a notice board that always helped me, but we got ours in our rooms, didn't mm. we? Yeah. I think maybe when you know where you're living, you, you know where your accommodation is, look up what is included in that. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, like, even bedding and stuff. Like, bring your own pillows if you want to. Oh, yeah. Mattress topper. Oh. Take a mattress yes. topper. 100%. I took my own duvet pillows and mattress topper. Duvet pillows are usually provided, but I just took my own anyways. I just yeah. thought, like, take everything from my house and take it with me. But um, definitely, definitely a mattress topper. You don't know what sort of person's been sleeping on that bed before you. So take a mattress topper. Yeah. Um, and you really and... feel those springs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you really feel those springs. Yes. And also, if you bring your own, like, duvet and pillow, it just feels a lot more like home. Yeah. yeah. Um, blankets. Take mm. blankets because they're just cosy and... Yeah. Or a fan. Because in summer it was so hot. Oh, yeah, I didn't have a fan. Could not breathe. Yeah, that is a good one. A clothes horse. Yes! Because yes. laundry. Um, so sometimes you get your own, uh, you get like a building where your laundrette is yeah. and tumble dryers and everything. Uh, but sometimes the tumble dryers don't work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's really so good. you have to take your work clothes and hang them up. In your yeah, and I room. actually used to do some of my washing in my sink. Mm. Um, Fair enough. And just like pop those little pads in the, the sink. You know the... Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 the those pods. Things. Yeah. yeah, the pods. Um, the aerial two in one pods. Um, or you can also get liquid board. detergent. Yeah, that's yeah. just a so good. Iron and ironing board for me because I don't like crease clothes. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> 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 iron and iron um, board, something else. Kettle, uh, cutlery plates. These are all practical things. So everything I'm mm. saying, write down. Money box. Because mm. I always had loads of change. And just throw it on the side or you just lose it put it in the money box and then yeah. like in a couple of months you, you, you literally have like 50 quid or 30 quid yeah. and you're like i didn't realize yeah. so money box definitely i think prioritize stuff when you're going out shopping for these things because yeah. like it's not the end of the world if you don't have a like a or a nice tv or something in your room yeah just get I the basics no, yeah neither just get the basics and then if you have money then you can build it up from that yeah. But don't be like, oh, I need this to look cool, I need that to, to fit yeah. in. Just get what you actually need to survive. I also bought a big, um, like, wad of paper. For, like, notes? Yeah, for, like, oh, I, don't, yeah. I just bought a big wad of paper Definitely. and I thought it would come in handy. Um, not very handy because I've still got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, pen pot. Good yeah. for the desk. Yeah. Oh, maybe a nice little um, mirror. Oh, yeah, a oh, mirror yeah, would be mirror. good. Because some places don't... Always no. have a mirror. In my bathroom, I had like a square mirror so I could see myself brush my teeth. <laughs> Why anyone needs to watch themselves brush their teeth, <laughs> I have no idea. But I had one of them, and mm. but not a full length one, so I'd stand on the toilet to see what it looked like. Wow. <laughs> yeah, dedication. I never <sighs> had a mirror. No, you didn't have one at I all. I didn't have a mirror. Didn't you? No. Mine was in my in my wardrobe, but like it wasn't very good because it just blocked the light. <laughs> Oh. So I literally couldn't see very well. <laughs> no. Um, that's what I can think about. Yeah, I think that's what I can think about. Well, I hope this video was informative and you enjoyed watching it. Yes. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below any more video suggestions. Can I do one of these things? Yeah. <laughs> just, just do what Ginger does.